Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Now, most living things in the world have a bum, or a tush, or a derriere, whatever you want to call it, including chickens. Today, we are going to make chicken. Not just any chicken, we're going to barbecue chicken. And not just any barbecue chicken, we are going to get a chicken, like this, and put a can of alcohol up his bum. <coughs> yes, that's right. That is all we need. Some oil, a chicken, some seasoning, and beer. That is all I'm going to use. We're going to, the barbecue's just warming up outside. I want to thank Carl, who's a good friend of mine, aka Digital Shooter, on Twitter. Go follow him and check out what he does. Really, really cool. Um, what we need to do, first of all, go preheat your barbecue if you haven't done already. I need to cut off the string that's holding the legs back on this chicken. So, uh, let's do that. Yeah. Brilliant. So my string's off, and as you can see, I don't really like chickens and stuff, but look, there's a big gaping hole at the bottom of that, ready for our can to go in there. First of all though, we're gonna rub some oil on there and a little bit of our seasoning. So let's do that. Okay, so that chicken's all well and truly covered. I even put my hand up the chicken's bum as well with the oil and some seasoning, rubbed it all inside there as well. Mm -mm -mm. What you need to do now is grab your can of alcohol. I've ripped off the ring pool like so for safety reasons and you only need half the can full of alcohol. So grab it, drink it. If you're under the legal age, give it to someone who is and let them enjoy it, right? Yes. Okay guys, so my can is now half full, or even half empty, depending on your outlook on life. I'm not drunk yet, it takes a few more cans than that to get me drunk, but I might be feeling slightly merry. Mm -mm -mm. What I've done is grab my knife and put some slits in the top of the can there to help release the steam when it's cooking. I'm also going to grab some more seasoning and pour that in the can with the beer as well, like so. Cool. Right. Now, I'll shake that in so it goes in. Okay, that's all in there. Ooh, it's fizzing up. Can you hear that? Yeah. Right. What I'm going to do now is grab my chicken and sit it on top of the can, lower it down like so. And I don't want any dirty innuendos going on in your mind, people, when we're doing this. Chicken on top of the can and nothing else in your mind, please. Beautiful. So that's sat on there and that is possibly one of the strangest sights I've ever seen. Look, it could be like a tap dancing chicken or something like that. And if there's any vegetarians watching, one, you shouldn't be watching this video anyway because you're vegetarian. And two, I'll make it up to you somehow by doing another video with an animal. Well, not an animal, maybe a, um, a vegetable or something like that. I'll put a vegetable with beer in it on the barbecue, which might actually taste good. Anyhow, let's get it on the barbecue. It should take about 45 minutes. So uh, let's see what happens. Right here then guys, that chicken's on the barbecue and I can't help but think about two things. First thing, what are my neighbours thinking? Because a couple of them were looking out the window when I was shoving a chicken with a beer can rammed up its jacksie on the barbecue. To be honest, I don't really care. But secondly, and more importantly, what is the chicken going to taste like? Is it going to taste all alcoholic or is it going to burn away and just be sort of like a funky moist chicken? I don't know. I'm thinking it's going to burn away like what wine does when you cook with it. But anyhow, we'll find out either way and I'll let you know. It's been about 10 minutes and it's looking to change colour already. So another 35 to 40 minutes and we're ready to get it out and we'll show you what it looks like. Wicked. Right here then guys, I just got it out and it is there. That can right there is red hot. The juices are running clear so you know it's done. And it got me thinking while that was going, maybe you could add like a baked bean can in there as well or you could try wine, uh, you could try root beer, ginger beer, maybe even Coke or Fanta. I don't know, just mix it up. That is there. As I say, that can is really hot. I'm gonna let it cool down for a teeny bit more and then extract it out, just carve it up and see what it tastes like. It smells amazing. One of my neighbours just stuck their head over the fence, they're like, what the hell is that? And I said, what, do you mean a chicken with a beer can up his bum? And they're like, no, 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 the smell. Obviously, probably couldn't see it anyway because the lid was on, but the smell is brilliant. I can't get over how good it smells. The smell was good. Did I already say that? Did I already say that? Yeah, I did. Right, okay, let's get the beer can out. I'm going to use a pair of tongs and we'll see how we get on. Amazing. So that chicken's lying down now because obviously the can's not supporting it and there is still smoke coming out the back of it, out of the hole. Ooh, you can just about see that there. The smell is amazing. I can't stop telling about the smell. It's really good. Okay, right. The can, look, it's half burnt. That was where it was in the barbecue bit. And the other bit, it's just sort of saying, I don't know. I don't know where I've been for the last 45 minutes. I've had my head up a chicken's bum. I don't know what's going on. Anyhow, let's carve this chicken up and see what it tastes like, people. 
Amazing, so that chicken is all cut up. As you can see, all the juices on the chopping board there, that's because as I was cutting it out, all the juices were coming out, so that's really good. I hate dry chicken, so that is one good thing. That's what that can really helps to do. It keeps that chicken moist. I also realized that I've never actually carved a chicken before, so it wasn't a bad effort. We've got my wings there, the breasts, and the legs. But as I was just cutting away, I was like, yeah, I'll cut that, I'll cut that, and that looks nasty, I'll chuck that out, and uh, yeah, it kind of worked. So uh, yeah, maybe do a carving video one other day. So yeah, let's have a little taste of this, and see how we get on. Mm. Mmm. Wow, it's so tender and moist and lush. Can't taste the beer too much, but that seasoning that we rubbed on there is really in there as well. Real nice barbecue finish to it. I am absolutely loving that. Remember, have a go at mixing that up any way you want. Perhaps chuck in some basil leaves in there or some more seasoning and herbs and you know, mix it up with a can any way you want. Let me know how you get on, of course. And if I can do that, absolutely anyone in the world can. I'll see you again next time. Bye! High five!